Thanks for stopping by. The interview today with Barbara Callan is about making your day sacred. What does that mean? How do you do it? And what are the outcomes? Hang around, listen to this interview, and you'll find some really great practical tips about how you can make every day and every hour every day better for you. Look forward to seeing more of you. Hello, this is Dr. Brian and Barbara Callan, who is an international intuitive consultant. She consults around the world and has quite a stellar reputation. So today, she, her blog is talking about making your day sacred. Take it away, Barbara. Thank you, Brian. Um, look, in these times, these extraordinary times that we are living in, it is really easy to get destabilised by everything that is going on, by all the chatter and the white noise out there that is in the media, that is in everybody that you, that you meet or may meet. And people can be very polarised in their points of view. So it's really important that we stay in a good space and we need as many tools as possible to help us to do that. If we know and understand that whatever we focus on, we get more of. All of your thoughts, feelings and emotions go into the field of energy around you and begin to draw in like. They magnetize towards you whatever you are thinking about. So if you're fearful and worried, it will draw in more things for you to be fearful and worried about. So what can we do about this? Well, let's reach for a higher perspective in all um, circumstances and in all events that happen to, to us. So my particular practice and things that I do is I make my day sacred. And I start first thing in the morning with my meditation and then I move into an intention for the day and I decide what it is that I want for my day. So I know that Brian sometimes does a similar thing. What sort of intentions do you use? Well, um, I have a practice that's actually part of the coaching program I've done. So we do, um, so it's called a top five that you start the day with. They're the five things that are not negotiable things you do and they set you up. So I start with meditation. I do, I finish my shower with cold because that's actually an act of will and I can tell you every time I don't want to do it. And then um, I do gratitude, and then I read something inspiring, and then I actually write down the top five. So that is, and I follow the program in terms of it's a fitness eating, and having the discipline about having been prepared and doing it creates a result. So I think for each of us, those, those three things of, so meditate, gratitude and then reading something that's uplifting something outside you could listen but there's something valuable about the re the written word i think in the hand i i agree um i would actually just say so in terms of setting up our day and making sure that we stay positive so perhaps switching on the news first thing in the morning is not going to be setting you up because you're that might set up your fear reaction you're going to draw more fear in. So your meditation, your intention, moving the body, these kind of things are going to set you up. I then like to intentionalize every new activity that I do. I set an intention, this is going to go smoothly. So those kind of, I'm giving instructions to my field of energy all the time. So those, so in terms of making it sacred, uh, the things that I'm mindful about, I might charge my glass of water before I drink it. I'll pause and I'll just put love into that glass of water or I'll bless it. I will bless my food. I change the frequency of it by blessing it. I raise the frequency up. I get more goodness out of it. So every single thing I do in my day is intentionalized and I make it sacred. Um, trying to think of what else I do. Is there anything else that you can think of? Well, I think a lot of these practices you're following are, are quite ancient yeah, so right. exactly. you know we grew up saying grace before meals and probably many of you on the other side of the camera may have done the same thing so what stopped us was it sitting in front of a tv was it not sitting around a table was it being in a hurry and standing in the kitchen while you eat your, your meal so all these things actually take the if you like the sacredness mm. and the gratitude and the mindfulness out of what we're doing and it just becomes mechanical mm. so maybe all you need is a protein shake but that won't have any 
love and goodness in it, that sort of the love cooked in the kitchen, mm. you know, that, that, that becomes part of the food. What I would say to that is if you, if you are having a protein shake, and you wouldn't be doing that, you know, every six times a day, but if you do choose to do that, then stand for a moment, pause, drop into your heart space and power it up with love. Put that beautiful intention, reach always for that higher vibration, that's the sacredness. One of the other little rituals that I always have is I like to mark the change of light. So for me, first thing in the morning, that might be my meditating, but at the other end of the day, the change of light is when we move from daylight to night, and there's twilight in between. And in twilight, I always light a candle with intention for my evening, or beaming it out there to everybody else in the universe or around me. So try that because I really guarantee that once you begin to step into the sacred that your life will change and you won't want to go back to the way it was before. And but, I know you can vouch for that too. Well I think so. I think what's very interesting is you think you're not you're not uh, prepaving your day. But actually, every time you have a thought, you prepave that next thing. Yes. So you can choose. The greatest freedom we have in the world is to choose our thoughts. Mm. And so if you disconnect from the propaganda, I'm just going to say that word, then you now begin to take control of your thoughts. You don't need to be told what to think. And I think if you, you know, oh, I'll have a bad day, oh, the traffic will be terrible, oh, it's wet, oh, it'll be cold. All those things are just another way to make your day less sacred. Mm -hmm. But you're basically putting a thought field out there to rendezvous with something that matches it on an energy level. Mm -hmm. And sick is a lower vibration than healthy and joyful. Mm -hmm. So if you want to stay well, spend more time where sickness doesn't live. Yeah, and just get into some of these practices and just switch your mind into that sacred idea. So all of life is sacred, every living creature is sacred. And this is not about religion, it's more about spirituality and sacredness, which every culture that has ever been and ever will be and is on this planet recognizes sacred. Hmm. And it's throughout all scripture. scriptures. So going back to the concept of reading, you may choose to pick up some scriptural book or a book that leans into scriptural basis and you might be totally delighted by how you feel when you've read your chapter or your paragraph or whatever it is and read it with intention, mm. with enough time to absorb and digest it. I have a small reading group and we read twice a week for half an hour and we, it's taken us forever to read one book, but that's okay. And every time you finish that, you've gained something from it. Mm. So I think we can all choose to spend our time in things that give us more upliftment. Yeah. So, blessings everyone. Thank you very much. Well, Barb, we will continue to have you contribute to the, uh, to the tribe's, I suppose, feel good and knowledge. And... I think the one thing that I am very aware of, because I've done a five-week course with um, David Wilcock, is that it's unequivocal that this is an energetic universe, and it's energy first and physical second. Always. So, you can, if we don't, well, let's choose to acknowledge that and use it to help us, because we can, through our thoughts, create a future that's only good. And that's what we want. And that's what we want. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to live in the gulag. So let's let's look past that and know that that's not going anywhere and we are going to be in a place that is going to be more wonderful and potentially everyone will join us there because no one really wants to live in a world that's less than wonderful. So stay uplifted and stay in that high vibration. Very good. So if you want to follow us Join, click on the link and join the Daily Apple and get regular updates on what's happening and um, stay in touch with us. There will be a link to Barbara's own information and website and she does have meditations that you can download for free and others that you can buy and she does have a free 
Monday, Monday morning meditation group which is about creating a better space on earth using the power of many to change the vibration of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. All the best. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Remain super healthy because that's where the best of life lives. All the best. Thank you.